Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to set the focus to the save file dialog within SAP GUI, especially if you would like to use SAP GUI scripting to automate repetitive tasks. I've made an own video how you can export SAP data into Excel. I will link if you would like to get further information about this. But basically, um, yeah, to use SAP GUI scripting, you have to click to customize local layout and then within here, here script recording and playback you have the possibility to record a SAP GUI script and to also play the SAP GUI script you can also execute the created VBS file directly in the Windows Explorer. You don't have to use this pop-up, this window, but you have to use this pop-up to record SAP GUI script. If for some cases this functionality is not available or this a record script button is not available I will also link a video that explains you how you can activate SAP GUI script within the SAP GUI but basically what happens so here you specify your script and then you click to record script yeah I would like to override then uh, I go to the SE16N I enter the table in this case it's echo it's a table containing information about purchasing orders then i hit the um, execute button and then basically within here i execute export as a spreadsheet because i would like to have the purchase order information into excel here if you want to, you can specify your format this is totally fine continue and now this happens so basically now what we can see is that the windows Explorer opens up not a dunpro based file safe dialog within SAP GUI but the Windows Explorer and here basically you can specify your file so in this case um, yeah export this is perfectly fine I click on save yeah I would like to override and now here we can see our exported um, purchasing order information and I can close this and then I open up once again the record and playback button to stop the recording. And now if we would like to execute the created VBS file, so I click on playback script. So the data browser will open up, echo will be inputted, uh, spreadsheet will be selected and now this happens. So basically uh, the execution of the SAP GUI script will be interrupted because the Windows Explorer opens up. And unfortunately there is no solution for this right now. Um, there you can't basically with SAP GUI script um, interfere this um, this explorer so unfortunately there is no possibility but what you have to do how can you solve this issue and it's easier than you can expect so um, first of all yeah we can save that's perfectly fine and then our script is finished how can you get rid of the save file dialog issue? Um, it's easy as you might expect and therefore you have to go to the SAP GUI options. And to do this right now within SAP um, your system you can click to customize local layout and then options or you can open up SAP logon, click in the top left area and then choose options and then within accessibility and scripting and uh, scripting here you have one option and that's called show native microsoft windows dialogs and here it's important that um, with this setting you have to deselect you have to deactivate the setting so remove the selection then you click on apply and now what happens if you don't have this setting activated that if you would like to record an SAP GUI script not the Windows Explorer would open up but a DUNPRO based file safe dialog will show up so I will show you this. So right now, if I, for example, once again, click on export and spreadsheet, that's perfectly fine. We still, we still see 
the save as dialog in the Windows Explorer. But if we click once again on our customized local layout, script recording and playback and click on record script. Yeah, I would like to override. And now once again, open up the SE16N to have a full SOP GUI script, type in the echo, hit the F8 key and then click on export as spreadsheet, select our format. Now this happens. So here you can see setting was applied. Now you can see that based on your SAP GUI option, not the Windows Explorer will open up, but a DIMPRO based file save dialog will open up in here right now you can specify your directory and the file name and these inputs will be recorded so here right now see temp that's perfectly fine i click on replace so now once again our excel file will be exported it's perfectly fine i close this I uh, once again go into record and playback. I stop recording and now once again I play the script. And now you can see that without any interruption your SAP data has been exported into Excel. So that's one way how you can get rid of this issue. And to have the SAP GUI option available, here right now you have to implement this SAP node. I will also put the link in the video description because here right now your um, file safe dialogue during scripting um, yeah, will be shown, will be used and therefore you have to implement this SAP node to have it available. And yeah, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss any great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.